Hello, hello, and welcome to Healthy Life with Kimmy. Well, hey guys, it's Kimmy. I'm back walking at the park today. Let me just show you around. I'm at the park. For those of you who may be new, I am on a healthy weight loss journey. And today I'm actually gonna have to do a little venting, guys. Oh, I just finished my walk, so I'm gonna stand under the tree for a minute. Well, I might walk 20 more minutes when I finish this video. So I'm gonna stand so I can get some shade. So I have to do a little venting. Um, someone left a comment on my channel that basically said, hey, I was really enjoying you and everything, but it looks like you're kind of stuck around the 20 pound mark. And they felt that I should be making more progress. Okay, so I want to talk about that for a minute, okay, because this is, um, kind of struck a nerve and everybody's entitled to their opinion i'll do like that maybe have a little more yeah everyone's entitled to their opinion and i get that right but i was kind of offended let me just tell you why let me tell you why yes i've lost 20 pounds i've been doing this journey now for seven months and i always say i'm doing it a little slower than most people because i actually live life i go out with my friends i have fun I'm not just sitting around dieting all day, okay? I wish I had that luxury. Um, and I guess I could just stay in the house. I'm always looking around. Y'all know I'm always looking around. I could just stay in the house and do nothing and just kind of focus on, on my dieting. I get that, but that's not what I'm doing. And I always say I don't do it perfectly on this channel. Uh, I don't think anyone does. And if they do, more power to them. I'm looking for longevity with this time trying to lose weight. And I think I'm doing pretty well, honestly. Um, even though, again, yeah, I would like to lose more too. Do I cheat a lot? I do. Do I enjoy life? I am. And as you guys can see, I've been going on different experiences and just living life. But the main reason I wanted to do this video is today is because let's have a little grace with each other, okay? I am trying to lose weight. This is not the easiest thing. I didn't gain all of this weight in um, seven months. You know, I didn't gain all of this weight. I'm not going to lose all of it in seven. So am I at a semi-plateau? Not really, because as I stated the other day, when I put out my most recent video, I've stopped taking my water pill. So I know I'm retaining a little bit more water. Whereas I was taking the water pill, maybe I had lost a little bit of weight. So whatever, you know. And I don't want you to feel bullied out there. Or my husband didn't like me using the word bully. And the person really wasn't being a bully, but I just felt it was unkind. I just thought it was unkind. I'm kind of big on if you don't have something nice to say, just don't say nothing. You know, and the person actually said, well, I've lost 23 pounds. Okay, congratulations. I'm happy for you. And I'm not mad at you if you happen to see this video, but I'm merely just making a point. That's the kind of thing we always got to find something negative, you know, versus that be like, Kimmy, give me a suggestion on maybe you could do this to not to, to make some progress you know maybe try to be a little bit more focused but the point of it is I never promised anyone that I would be losing every single week I never promised anyone that I was going to have these huge result results you know I never committed to I'm going to lose 100 pounds in six months I never did that from day one I've always said that this is my journey I'm just sharing it with you you know, and the reason I share is because I'm going to keep walking. The reason I share is because I think it really does help people. And I know for a fact it does because some of the comments have reflected it. So my husband says, well, Kim, why are you so worried about what that one person said? It's not that I'm so worried about what the one person said, but I'm more concerned about that's what people do in daily life. You know, here you trying to do something good and somebody see you eat an extra piece of cake or you're not progressing the way they think you should. And then they're trying to rag on you or call you out. And that's kind of, kind of how I felt about the comment. I don't, need you to rem I don't need you to remind me that I've lost 20 pounds and I'm kind of like at a plateau. I know what I've been doing. <laughs> I record the videos. I get on the scale, you know. I actually had something similar happen back in 09. I was having terrible acne. I think it was hormonal. Went out with a friend of mine and she says, Kim, oh my God, what's wrong with your face? And I'm looking like, you know, I saw my face when I got up this morning, right? 
I, I washed it so I know the acne is there, right? It was it was bad too, guys. It really was. I said I look like a leopard about the face. And that was in 2009. And I believe I was starting to change menopausal. And also I was taking a vitamin. So I don't know if it had too much something in it that was causing those problems with my acne. But it was pretty bad. And I actually traveled that year. And I had so many pictures. <laughs> and I often say if I had knew I looked that bad, I would not have taken any pictures. <laughs> but I didn't know. Thank goodness. And then... The reverse is true too. So what? I had acne. What am I going to do about it? You know, it was there. And I still have to live life. I don't get to say, I guess I'll just stay in the house for the next year till it goes away. You know, same thing with my weight. I'm not going to shy away from, and back to my friend really quick. So I had to tell her, because she was really ragging on me and just going off, you know. And I was like, you know, I looked in the mirror this morning, you know. So she cried. We shared a moment. And I was upset with her. I don't like people just trying to go off on me. Worry about you. Now, not in a negative way. So back to my husband. So Jeffrey says, well, Kim, why are you so upset about this one person? Like I was saying earlier. And again, I'm not upset, but I don't want you to experience that. You might be losing really good and you be, you come to a plateau. Maybe you actually are doing everything you're supposed to do. And you hit a plateau and your friends start talking about you. Oh, I thought she was losing weight. Oh, what happened? You should be progressing further than that. You should be at 25 pounds. You should be at 30 by now. Now, I have family members that are doing this also, and they are losing much more than I am a little faster. And that's okay. You know, I don't mind. I'm proud of them. I'm happy for them. It encourages me. So everybody's walking journey is going to be different. And the main thing I want you to take away from this video too today is when I started this channel, it wasn't just to talk about my weight loss. It's a journey. So part of my journey is, as I mentioned, trying different foods adding new things to my my diet um adding more fruits adding more vegetables you know hanging out with my friends trying different experiences so it's not and it never has been for me just about the number on the scale okay um weight watchers have what they call non-scale victories so for me it's it's getting more self-esteem you know wear different clothing it's not just about the number on the scale that's a dog out here <laughs> at the park. I just want to make sure he wasn't loose. And that's what I want you to take away. It's not just about the number on the scale. When you talk about um, losing weight, your mental state. I know I'm making different decisions now. I'm constantly aware of what I'm doing. I've changed so many habits, you know. So, yeah, the number on the scale ain't reflected of, of that person's 23 or someone else's 30 or 35 or whatever number you want to insert but doggone it i am trying and i'm not giving up i'm not stopping and you know you can feel free to leave your comment if it's negative i probably won't respond because i don't respond to negativity and again somebody else may say well kim that was just their opinion they're entitled but i don't have to respond to it that's me taking my power back and i did this video about it and i'm not gonna talk about it again you know um so i really want you to continue on your journey whatever that looks like and everybody's journey is different maybe my goal was 20 pounds again when i first started this i never said watch me as i lose 100 pounds i never committed to a number watch me as i lose 50 pounds i never did it was just my journey so again i'm not upset with the person i'm just kind of venting a little bit and the main reason I don't want you to feel like that you don't have a platform maybe where you can tell somebody how you really feel it might be a family member it might be a boyfriend your husband oh you you know I cannot stand that just just be gracious to people be kind again this ain't easy it's not it's not easy so I'm gonna continue on my journey I'm not gonna let anyone detour me detour me and I'm not going to you know, feel like I have to produce. I just don't because I made changes in my diet last week. Again, when it came to my water pill, I told y'all I stopped taking it. You know, so, but I went to the doctor today. I'm just going to add this. I went to the doctor today and I have to start by taking the water pill. Oh, wait, the sun is bad. Let me stand here. Let me go back under the tree. I have to start back taking my water pill because my blood pressure today was 140 over 80. I'm going to 
gonna take that with a grain of salt because me and the person that did my um <laughs> my blood pressure we were actually chatty catties and we just talking me and her so by the time she do my blood pressure of course i'm all worked up and then i had walked outside um anytime i could walk i do i take advantage of it so at the doctor's office we were like a half hour early i just start walking i just start walking so anytime i can walk i do so my i might have been a little you know extra so but because it was high and that was my barometer today a barometer today um i said if it's high i'm gonna start back taking my water pill so i am they did a new prescription for me and i'll just start back taking it it is what it is because I'm not getting stroke out or whatever just because I don't want to take it. Now, if I find out I don't have to, that's going to be different. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my walk back on. Um, I got some videos coming out for you guys when I'm just walking and talking and sharing tips with you. But again, don't let nobody um, make you feel bad about your journey. Everybody's walk is different. Everybody's journey is different everybody's body type is different <laughs> you know everybody's age is different it's a lot of reasons why one person may lose and another person may not i'm trying to get some lighting for y'all it's a lot of reasons why one person may lose faster you know it, it's just a lot it's, it's different reasons why so again i'm not focusing on that i don't want you to focus on that i want you to continue and what progress are you all doing? I mean, even in the comments, some of you say, well, Kim, I had a bad week. I'm like, oh, okay, no worries. This is a judgment-free zone. You know, that happens in the comments. You guys will tell me, oh, my week didn't go that great. And I'm like, oh, okay, no worries. You know, next week will be better. So this person actually unsubscribed from the channel. And did that bother me? It did. But... It is what it is. I mean, I still got to do life. I still got to lose this weight. And I'm going to keep talking about it. Because it's therapeutic for me. So, I hope to have some um, better numbers on Sunday. Because I'll be taking my water pill. Which will get some of that excess salt and water out of my body. So, again, when you talk about the number on the scale. It's a lot of things that go into that. Are you backed up? Are you backed up with poop? Have you not pooped for a few days? Did you eat beef? It's a lot of reasons why your number on the scale may not be moving, you know? It's a lot of reasons. Metabolism, age, being a woman versus a man, you know? It's a lot of reasons. So, all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. But um, I just had to come on here. And again, I'm not defeated, guys. I'm not going to be. My dad used to say, don't be defeated. Mm -mm, never that. <laughs> and my husband said, well, you don't have to talk about it. You don't have to address it. I don't. I know I didn't have to. I know I didn't have to. But this is my journey. And I get to talk about it the way I want to. And I wanted to share that with you. And I really hope it will help somebody else out there. That is dealing with the naysayers. Oh, oh, whatever. Okay. So until next time, guys. This is Healthy Life with Kimmy. 